UFC Fight Night Sandhagen vs. Nurmagomedov, also billed as UFC Abu Dhabi, took place on August 3rd in front of a packed Etihad Arena in Abu Dhabi, UAE. The gate was not released, but the event made at least $7 million from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? International commissions typically do not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projected based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Starting with the feature prelim, Azamat Mirzakhanov was seemingly landing at will in the first round of his bout against fellow light heavyweight Alonzo Minifield. The momentum shifted in round two, however, as Minifield reversed position against the cage, and Mirzakhanov looked to be fatiguing towards the middle of the round. But before Minifield could take advantage, Mirzakhanov landed a huge left hand, followed up by a combination that dropped Alonzo to the canvas. The professional followed it up with vicious ground strikes to get the TKO finish. Minifield made $80,000 to show and $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, for a total of $91,000. While Mirzakhanov brought in $28,000 to show and $28,000 for the win, $4,500 in Venom sponsorship, along with a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, for $110,500 on the night. And now, kicking off the main card, lightweight Elvis Brenner had trouble finding his range early against the reach of Joel Alvarez. Alvarez stalked his opponent down in the first round, keeping Brenner on the back foot with accurate punches, kicks, and knees. He used his striking to open up opportunities for submission attempts, nearly cinching up a darce choke at the end of the round. In the second, Alvarez kept the pressure on, but Brenner found some success in the striking exchanges as both men landed solid blows. The action continued in the final frame, but halfway through the round, Alvarez Alvarez landed a barrage of knees to Brenner's head, eventually crumpling him to the canvas, giving Alfina Mino the TKO victory. Brenner earned $24,000 to show and $4,500 in sponsorship and took home $28,500. While Alvarez made $47,000 to show and $47,000 for the win, $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, along with a $50,000 performance of the night bonus, and a total of $150,000. In the second fight, Lupi Godinez and Mackenzie Dern started their flyweight bout on the feet with both women landing strikes, but Godinez displaying more accuracy and pop. Halfway through the first round, however, Dern ended up in full mount where she quickly transitioned to threaten an armbar, throwing hammer fists while Godinez defended the submission. The aggressive pace continued into the second as both women sported bruised and bloodied faces. Dern started to find a groove with her striking and in the third round mixed back in her grappling attack, proving to be a bit more than Godinez could handle as Mackenzie Dern would go on to take the unanimous decision victory. Godinez received $81,000 to show, along with $11,000 in sponsorship pay, for $92,000. And the winner, Mackenzie Dern, brought home a whopping $200,000 to show, and another $100K for the win, as well as $11,000 in sponsorship, and a grand total of $311,000. The third fight didn't last long as Michael Chiesa dispatched to the veteran Tony Ferguson just 3 minutes and 44 seconds into the very first round. There wasn't a lot of action in the first couple of minutes as both men got a feel for each other's timing on the feet. But once Chiesa landed a takedown, he immediately maneuvered to Tony's back and locked in a rear naked choke. El Kakui fought the hands initially, but ultimately tapped giving Michael Chiesa the first round victory and his first win in over 3 years. Tony's purse is difficult to estimate as he is a fan favorite and bona fide draw, but also clearly on the tail end of his career. His last officially released non-championship pay was all the way back in 2018 at UFC 229 where he earned $200,000 to show with a $50,000 win bonus. Even now on an 8 fight losing skid, I'd still expect that he's gotten a decent pay raise since then considering we've seen fighters like Andre Arlovsky on old contracts getting vastly overpaid at the end of their careers. I'd put Tony in the ballpark of three hundred thousand dollars to show along with the maximum non-championship twenty one thousand in sponsorship eking by Dern for the biggest paycheck of the night at three hundred and twenty one thousand while Chiesa would earn $85,000 to show and another $85,000 for the win, $16,000 in sponsorship for a total of $186,000. The 
fourth fight saw former flyweight champion Davison Figueredo in his third fight at Bantamweight taking on the former title challenger Marlon Cheeto Vera. Figueredo scored a couple of takedowns in the opening round where he racked up ground control and landed a few strikes. However, Cheeto showed off solid offense from his back and proved difficult to keep down. In the second, Vera had probably his best round on the feet and his takedown defense prevented Figgy from getting the fight to the ground. But the biggest moment of the fight came midway through the third as Figueredo landed a flush right hand that sat Cheeto down on the canvas. It was Cheeto's first time ever being knocked down in the UFC and Davis and Figueredo would go on to take the unanimous decision win. Vera earned $168,000 to show and $21,000 in Venom sponsorship and took home $189,000. While Figueredo brought in $110,000 to show and another $110 for the win, $16,000 in Venom sponsorship, taking his total to $236,000. In the co-main event, middleweight Shara Magomedov employed a kick-heavy attack against Mihal Olashechik, while Olashechik found a home for his punches in a fast-paced first round. Mihal continued the heavy pressure in the second, but Shara Bullet punished him with kicks, knees, and elbows. Oleg Shechik did catch a kick and used it to score a takedown towards the end of the round, but without enough time to really do any damage. It was more of the same in the final round, and while Ola Shechik finished the fight on top, it was Shara Magomedov who would come away with the unanimous decision victory. Oleg Shechik earned $80,000 to show, along with $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, as well as a $50,000 fight of the night bonus, for $141,000 on the night. With this being his third fight in the UFC, it's possible Shara is still on his rookie contract. If that's the case, and that's a big if, he would have made $14,000 to show and another $14,000 for the win, $4,000 in Venom sponsorship, along with his $50,000 bonus, and left with $82,000. However, considering his star power, if he renegotiated prior to the fight, he would have earned significantly more. If you're enjoying the content and want to keep up with the latest videos, take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Only 7% of the people watching this video are subscribers, but you could change that and help to grow the channel in the process. And finally, Umar Nurmagomedov preserved his undefeated record, likely earning a Bantamweight title shot in the process, and defeated Corey Sandhagen via unanimous decision. It was a competitive fight, but the threat of Nurmagomedov's elite-level wrestling allowed him to take risks in the striking game and outmatch Sandhagen in nearly every aspect. Corey did a great job neutralizing the majority of Umar's wrestling attack, and the scrambles were exciting and fast-paced. But for the most part, he was unable to implement his game plan, and as a result, Nurmagomedov edged out nearly every round to take the decision win. Sandhagen made $132,000 to show and $11,000 in sponsorship for a total of $143,000. And the winner Umar Nurmagomedov took home $41,000 to show and $41,000 for the win along with $6,000 in sponsorship and $88,000 on the night. That's all for this episode. Any corrections to the numbers I've shown will be listed in a pinned comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you next week for UFC Fight Night, Tybura vs. Spivak 2.